be love math a every time we divide we already know the path a then we multiply all we gotta do is roll the die a let's try this one and here we're talking about now we're on module eight Lesson 2, Example 2, Design and Run a Simulation, and 8.23, Run and Evaluate the Simulation. So what is a probability model? Probability model is a mathematical representation of a random event. What's the probability it's going to rain today? Um, what is the likelihood of catching COVID when you go outside with no mask, right? Those are, that's like a probability model. Some, something that happens. And it consists of the sample space And the probability of each outcome. Okay, so what's the probability model that um, um, you know you get in the likelihood that you get into a, a really good university like say UCI? Okay, what's a simulation? Simulation is a probability model to imitate the process or situation. Coins, we've done that before, dice and random number generators, like basically the computer calculator can generate numbers at random, can be used to conduct simulations of experiments that might be difficult or impractical to perform in reality. Would you really want to flip a coin 10,000 times or roll the die 100 times? Okay. All right, so let's talk about steps to conduct a simulation. The first thing you need to do is um, determine determine the um, the probability model. Okay, number two, uh, define the trial for the situation and state the number of trials to be conducted. Number three, we need to conduct or actually do. And then number four, we have to analyze the results. Okay. All right, let's try this one. Let's try this um, example over here. A company that produces bottles of water runs a promotion in which one out of every eight bottle caps wins the customer a free bottle of water. Okay, and so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the probability model here. So the question you might wanna think about is what are the outcomes? So you open um, the cap and you either win or lose. So there's two outcomes, two totals, right? And here you also want to calculate the theoretical probability. And that would be um, to win, it's only one out of eight, so one eighth. So winning theoretical probability and to lose theoretical probability would then be what? Seven out of eight, because one plus seven is eight and that would be 100%, so one time out of eight you will win and seven times out of eight you will lose. Okay. 
let's go ahead now and define the trial for this situation and state the um, number of trials to be conducted. So what can we use here? There are six available probability tools. Cards, tossing a single coin, marbles, standard die, random number generator, and um, a spinner. Can I not count? Six, six, sorry. All right, which of these tools can actually give us something like this? You could use, um, like put, like take eight cards. Let's highlight it. Cards would work. Okay, a coin toss is 50-50. You can't just say win or lose and just keep flipping it because that'd be only two outcomes. Um, but we have a total of eight because it's one out of eight, right? So you can't use the top coin toss. Marbles you can, right? Let's just say you have eight marbles and of those marbles, um, seven are red and one is green. Green means you win, red means you lose, put it in a bag and you draw it. So marbles can work. A standard die. Um, standard would just be numbers one to six. So that one would not work. A random number generator, yeah. If I put the numbers one through eight on it, and then I choose number three to win, and then all the other numbers are lose, and then the computer picks one, so that would work. And then I can choose a spinner, because if I had a spinner and there's eight spaces, again, I could put one green, seven, lose. So, let's just write that. Um, you could pick any one of these. I think the easiest one to pick would probably be something like cards. Have eight cards. Right. Win on one card. Right. Try again. On seven cards, pick one at random. Pick one at random. And I kind of told you what my thinking out loud is for the other ones. Okay, that's to define the trials. State the number of trials to be conducted. The nice number to run is kind of like 100. We will run simulation or we will run this um, experiment 100 times. So turn the cards over, pick one, record the results, flip it back over, and do that 99 more times, okay? Okay, so to conduct this simulation, you actually just, um, you would do that. You would just conduct it. do it and then you would analyze the results record it um, here's a sentence might help you in one simulation Um, the winner, the winner was um, recorded 12 times in um, 100 trials or experiments. So that would effectively give you a experimental probability of 12% when the theoretical probability of 1 8 is about 12.5%. So pretty close, pretty close. Okay, 
let's go over the directions here. In questions four to five, skip one below. So either you're going to choose T Tiana or Lamar and um, try it yourself and then press play to check your answer or if you want to do the problems with me step by step, then just let the video continue. Number four, internet. So, Tiana sells handmade earrings online. Last month, she sold 60% of her inventory. Design and run a simulation that can be used to estimate the probability of selling inventory. Okay, so we can just list our outcomes. Um, she sells something 60% of the time and then no sell 40% of the time, right? What else have we got? Um, our theoretical probability is already 60%. And then experimental probability um, that means a no cell would be at 40% so we already kind of did that above what else have we got to do okay which what, do, what would you guys use you can use any of those I don't know I like let's pick marbles um, let's just say marbles take 100 marbles and I really like the colors green and red green means go red means stop right so um, 60 green marbles represents she makes a, a sale sell sale 40 red represent um, no sale. Stuck in her inventory. Does that make sense? So... Uh, we can perform, you can do this however many times you want, perform uh, 50 trials and record data. Does that make sense? You put 100 marbles in a bag, 60 of them are green and 40 are red. You pull out a marble and you tell us what happened. You record the data. On my first trial, I picked out red. Second trial, green. Then third trial, green. And you keep doing that. And let's just say then you, you have your results, right? So going through this, we determine the probability model. We define the trial for the situation. State the number of trials. We said 50. We conduct it, and then you analyze it. So let's just say you did this. And based on the simulation, And what's cool is you just go to Google and type in like coin simulation, dice, die um, simulation, uh, marble simulation. You can find things that will actually just help you do that. Based on the simulation of selling um, inventory, maybe you get something like 64 greens. And not selling um, you got 30, 36 reds well we did 50 so 50 times um, try that again so let's just say you uh, 0.64 so you have 50 trials and you pick 32 green because 32 over 50 gives you 0.64, and then um, you pick 18 marbles. 
that were red. And that's how you get your, um, if you had to analyze it, okay? Okay, let's try number uh, five, programming. Lamar designed a soccer computer game. He coded the program such that a player will make a goal on 35% of the attempts. Paola, Paula <coughs> is testing the game and thinks there may be an error in the game's programming. She attempted to make 30 goals and only four were successful. Run and evaluate a simulation and decide whether Paula is correct. All right. So let's take a look at our outcomes. Our theoretical probability is 35%. <clears throat> make it simple, I call it yes or no. So yes, make a goal. And then these are uh, complementary. Basically means 35 plus something equals 100%. So 65% no, you're not gonna make a goal. This is the theoretical probability the outcomes are yes, you're going to make a goal, or no, you're not. <coughs> okay, so what what kind of um, what kind of systems can I use here? What kind of way to model the simulation? Uh, what you can use is. Um, we can use something called the random digit generator. Let me just write it out. Random digit generator. R D G. Don't use the abbreviation, you should write it out. And basically, um, numbers. Um, 1 to 35 will be, um, so we're assigning these numbers. So if you get the number 1 to 35, it's a goal. Numbers uh, 36 to, actually it should be um, 0 to 34. And we can just do 36 to 100. It is a missed goal. Missed. Okay, and um, we're going to perform this. You, you can pick, it doesn't matter how many times, but um, you know, Paula tried it 30 times. Does that make sense? That was her, that was her, um, how many trials that she did, trials. But. It's always, you don't have to, but of course, more trials, the better. So perform, I always like the number 100, perform 100 trials, and record data. Okay, so let's, let's try this. I'm actually gonna take you to the graphing calculator. And I'm gonna go math. Um, probability random integer and right what's nice about this is it's actually telling me the code it says rand in random integer parentheses lower so that's the lowest number one comma to 100 and then the number of trials we want so it's just telling me to pick numbers does that make sense um, and this is say I, I know we're gonna do it 100 times but this is I pick it once I got a random number and the ra random number is 85 so what does that mean? We said, well, numbers uh, 36 to 100 represent a missed goal. So you can just keep pressing enter and it repeats the same. So this one, this one would represent again a missed goal because it's between 36 and 100. Missed goal, missed goal, missed goal. Keep pressing it. Oh, there's a goal, right? Um, so let's just say we do that and calculate our data. Um, So 
So let's just say I do that and I calculate based on the simulation. The experimental EP probability of making a goal. Let's just say I do that 100 times, right? I press enter 100 times, and um, 41 times it comes up between a number 1 to 35. Making um, goal is 41%. So 41, that's a 1. La. 41 of 100. And let's compare that now to uh, Paula's. Paula had, had a um, success rate, where she scores a goal, success rate of only 13%. That is um, 4 out of 30. So Paula can say your game's rigged. I only did it, got 13%, and you're getting it at 41%, and you're, you're, you're telling them it's supposed to be 35%. But the law of large numbers says if you keep doing the simulation, we're going to go towards the 35% um, that uh, Lamar kind of designed it to be. Okay? My day-to-day -day life is under attack by statistics that I gotta grab. Can't forget about how to burn, memorize tax so I... Oh, I love this math class.